um, that for whatever reason feel their pet is allergic to chicken. That is a new thing, that is a new buzzword, that is a new whatever. I've even heard veterinarians say, well, maybe your pet's allergic to chicken, just throwing that out there. Um, there is an actual way to diagnose a pet with a chicken allergy. And before you unnecessarily limit yourself, let's say we go through all these and the only one that is good or really good is a chicken. And you just, for whatever reason, assume your dog has a chicken allergy or it's become itchy and your vet just said, oh, I don't know, maybe it's the chicken. Um, Cause a lot of vets get lazy and do that. Uh, you may be unnecessarily limiting yourself and excluding a perfectly good diet because of that laissez-faire approach to food allergy. And so there is an actual algorithm for checking for food allergies. I have a whole dedicated video for that. So before you comment to me that your pet has a chicken allergy, if you did not follow that al algorithm, um, you may be misdiagnosing or have your or have had your pet misdiagnosed, especially if you did not do a food trial or if it was diagnosed with a food allergy based on a blood allergy test, okay? Blood allergy tests for food are bogus. If you have done one, I am sorry, you got scammed. There are a lot of veterinarians that get scammed because these companies convince them, but there is too much cross reactivity and there are lots and lots and lots and lots of false positives, okay? And so think about a false positive in the case of a disease. Um, I'll just use rabies, okay, because I'm a veterinarian, okay? So let's say you were sick and you went to the doctor and they ran a crappy test on you <laughs> and um, where there were a lot of false positives and they told you you had rabies. How would that make you feel? It would make you feel crappy. Um, and because there are so many false positives, there is a likely chance that that is not real. You went through all that stress and all that angst and all that anxiety for no reason because it was a crappy test. Same thing with food blood allergy tests. Um, you put yourself through all this angst and all this anxiety um, from a crappy test that has a lot of false positives where the result that you get is crap. Um, so, so yeah, if you are watching this and you're saying, well, I can't feed the chicken because my pet has a chicken allergy, my question to you is how is that chicken allergy diagnosed if it was not diagnosed with a 12 week food trial with a prescription food trial diet, um, you may have been subject to a crappy diagnosis from a crappy test.